Hi, I'm Stuart from the Norfolk Honey Company and welcome once again to my home office where we've just returned from a visit to Brunel Microscopes here in the UK. I know a lot of you will be familiar with Brunel Microscopes as they are the main UK supplier of microscopes to the beekeeping community attending many of the trade shows and honey shows and spring convention events uh, across the UK uh, pretty much every year. I'd like to start by thanking Alan, Helen and all of the staff for being so welcoming down at their premises in Chippenham in Wiltshire. And while we were there we had a, a really good look at many of the different bits of kit that they've got. It's really very impressive but what I wanted to share was that we're now authorised distributors for Brunel Microscopes and we'll be loading up our website with all beekeeping relevant microscopy equipment over the next week or two so please do pop over and take a look at that but what I really wanted to show you today was one piece of equipment it's actually a, a kit that you can purchase to make pollen slides it contains all of the essential components to make up pollen slides quickly and easily and you can then retain those as a reference guide for when you're looking at uh, honey samples or pollen samples in the future. So let's take a look at all of the component parts that come in the kit. So this is the outfit that you get. These are all the items that come in the kit. And we'll just talk through all of the items one by one and just explain uh, what they are and how they're used. So of course, if you're going to make microscope slides, you need microscope slides. So we've got a packet of 50 glass microscope slides and cover slips. The cover slips go on top of the sample on top of the microscope slide and we'll be showing you how to make up some pollen sample slides in the very near future. But for now uh, the cover slip goes on top of the sample and protects it when it's on the microscope slide. We've got 10 pipettes and these are used to draw up samples to draw up isopropanol alcohol that you use to wash the sample so here in this bottle we've got isopropanol alcohol and that will wash the pollen grains and make them easier to accept the stains and also wash off any of the little bits of dirt and grit that you get when you're taking samples. We have sample bottles so we've got 10 small sample bottles and these you could use to take samples from plants so that you can maybe take flowers from plants and pop them into here or you could pick up pollen loads that have dropped beneath your beehive and pop them into these sample tubes and then label them up so that you know what you've got. The book by John White it's an excellent book for the entire process of collecting and preparing microscope pollen slides. In the front we have three watch glasses and these are called watch glasses because of the shape. They have a convex face and therefore a concave back to them and you can put samples in there and this is where you would wash pollen grains using the isopropanol. We have two brushes and these are excellent for using when you're sealing the cover slip to the slide using the Brunseal Clear and is ideal for use as a ringing cement and again we'll cover off exactly what that is and how you would use it in future videos but it basically seals the cover slip to the microscope slide and that's ideal for when you're using a glycerin jelly mountant and the glycerin jelly already has the stain within the glycerin jelly so it makes it really easy to produce good quality slides. So that's just one of the many items that we're going to be adding to our website in the coming days and weeks and if you've anything specific that you want us to add to our site that you need then please do get in touch. Again over the coming weeks we'll be able to show you lots more equipment that we now have access to that will help make 
your beekeeping microscopy journey that much more enjoyable. So please do keep an eye out for those. So the pollen identification kit pretty much has everything you would need in order to create some fantastic pollen slides for your own enjoyment and also to identify the pollen that you're perhaps finding in your honey, which is always fun to do. Look out for the forthcoming videos uh, to show you how to do those. And also watch out for the podcast that I've just produced with Alan Potter at Brunel Microscopes, talking a little bit more about the different types of microscopes that they have now available via our website. We'll catch up next time, but for now, thanks for watching.